I guess uh, with regards to uh, tax, a lot of us, when we do tax for posters and whatever kind of layout, we would like to have some kind of an outline to the tax. It gives the tax a little bit, uh, the typography a little bit more flexibility mm-hmm. in such a way that, let's say, for example, your tax is light in color and your background seems to be very, let's say, for example, you're doing a background that shows uh, Mount Everest or something where we have light and dark, the dark here, light there. So it's pretty tricky to, let's say, if you want to put text across here, it's pretty tricky because if you put light text, then it might be quite invisible at the light areas. If you put dark text, it might be invisible at the dark areas. So you want the text to be legible, to be uh, easily readable. All right, so I'm just, we're just going to explore how to do that. I'm just going to go with uh, this, this red here and go with some kind of a text here. Right, so let's do this next text. Uh, okay. All right, so maybe I'll, I want to make that larger so that it spans across the canvas like that. All right, let's say we have this, right? Um, and we want it to say um, have a little bit of an outline, right? So, what we can do is we can just do this, for example. Right, so I'm just using the color picker tool or select by color tool, right? And I'm just clicking on the red of the text, and I'll just go to select and go to grow. Um, what's the meaning of grow? Grow is just you know you you have, once you have a selection, you now want want to make it larger, right? Let's say for example, if I go to uh, 100 or something and OK it, I'll have that kind of an effect, right? But I don't want 100. Um, instead of 100, maybe it will go with something uh, slightly smaller. So you choose your size. Lah. Let's say for example, I go with 5 I, because I feel 5 is enough. So I have a line. I have these blinking lines or selection areas which is just slightly um, larger mm-hmm. than the text. Let's say I want that. So I'm just going to use a new layer, shift Control n Create a new layer. Let's say a text background or something. Right? Uh, or text outline or something and OK it and I'm just gonna put it uh, right behind the text and maybe make it uh, transparent edit uh, so I, should, I should have made that uh, layer transparent but never mind right so now I'm just gonna use the uh, paint bucket tool I don't have to use the paint bucket tool now you see that this part is already highlighted like that right so I'm just gonna go to edit and um, before that, I'm going to change this back to uh, black, right? Edit and then fill with background color. So I have that. And once I have the text in front of it, now I will have the, the outline. Select none, right? So I have the outline of the text, thereby giving me the flexibility of uh, having light text with dark outline or dark text with light outline. 